without game audio sometimes. All right. All right. Enjoy the next set. You left your phone. Mic right. check, mic check. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, check. All right. What's happening, everybody? I like this. I can hear the audio in the headset. It's nice and loud. Hopefully, it's nice and loud for the viewers at home as well. I'm about to tweet this out. Yep. Are we live this game one? Or are they, uh, that was like some super advanced button check. Yeah. Oh no! I think this is uh, this, this is, game one. This is looking like a real, the real deal, this man. The real deal, yeah. <laughs> I saw I'm hit with a white pick. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, it's business time. Right he's, now. he's trying to rack up that damage, of course. <laughs> and man, on the other side here, we have Spargo, yeah. a young child. I mean, he looks like a prodigy, legit. Because I've never seen this kid before, but he's out here with this cloud and he's doing work in the bracket. Yeah, Winter semis. Like, this is like that movie, uh, uh, searching yeah. for Bobby Fischer from like yeah. the '90s, like the kid prodigy coming out of the coming out of the woodwork, you know. Challenging the uh, the local scene and man, putting all this uh, all this damage already winter semis. I mean, at his age, I was not playing Super Smash <laughs> Brothers, not, <laughs> not competitively at right. least. Yeah, and of course, yeah, you know, he's in for a real test right now because he's got I'm Hip, the kind of the reigning champion of Wednesday night fights by and large. Just you know, week in week out, Dude. I'm Hip putting in so much first, work. so much first place and second place finishes throughout all of these locals. Easily top contender right now for number one in SoCal. Look at him, he had these up airs to juggle. Spargo, oh, he could have punished that air dodge. Yeah. Didn't and quite pull the trigger. Yeah, kind of caught I'm Hip sleeping yeah. right there a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, I'm Hip had double purple Pikmin, but now he has one. That's oh, no, he has oh, the, oh, he has, oh he's, still got, he's got both of them. Where did that other one go? He just disappeared. And yeah, good good forward tilt. Get uh, get the Almar off stage and see if he can edge guard him. It's got to be a little difficult just because, you know, oh, oh man, there's the up smash. He's, yeah, <laughs> he's trying to punish that. I'm probably not familiar with just the, exactly. the raw frame data on that move. So much horsepower. Yeah, out of he's going to run it under. Uh, I'm hip and get a great anti air with that up smash of his own. Yeah, it's that, the fact that he got hit by the double Pikmin up smash yeah. is that it just shows that he really probably has not that much experience in the matchup. And rightfully so. I mean, yeah. Almar's not the, the most, most common, common of characters. Yeah. Probably like the. The least common top tier, I would say. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're blessed and like lucky that we have, like, I'm hip here yeah. to practice against, of course. Oh, oh cross man. Slash. That's a very enough. aggressive yeah. offstage. Very brilliant. Saw the Almar was in trouble offstage. Yeah. Put that, you know, that limit side special out. And, and it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is one of the stages with, like, one of the smaller blast zones, the side blast zone. So I yeah. was able to secure that stock extra early with the cross slash. All right. Excellent whistle and. Forward smash from my hip coming out. That's yeah, gonna be interesting to see. Both these characters, you know, kind of struggle in the recovery game for their own reasons. Uh, yeah. You know, when Cloud doesn't have that limit, getting back can be treacherous. So, I'm hip is able to go off stage after him. And on the flip side, when I'm hip's off, off stage, that up special not having a hitbox oh. lets Cloud put the work oh, in. Oh, I love it. All right, he jumped at him, uh, forced out the double jump, and then was able to get him with a dump and up air. Finally, nets the grab and tosses him up into the sky for that final stock. Down to one stock apiece. I don't know if you saw that shenanigans right there. Uh, I'm hip using Yoshi's Island to his advantage. Ran to the edge of the slant and threw a white Pikmin and it went like shooting straight up <laughs> to oh, cover yeah. the aerial approach because just the slants changed the trajectory. That's crazy. <laughs> that is funny. I hope uh, we see more of that. Definitely want to see more reasons why people would want to go to this stage, of course. Uh, I think most people end up banning it outright. So, and I'm hip has just been on so much momentum, hasn't taken any damage in the last minute, two oh, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since he took the stock, practically. Right. <laughs> All right. He's got a great lineup here: purple, blue, and white. He's gonna be able to rack up more damage with the white. Get strong hits with the purple. That one's. Yeah. Oh, he pulled another one. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm hit. And. Spargo is struggling, trying to get in desperately. He knows if he can get in, he can put in, you know, put in the work. It's just getting through the zone is rough. Yeah. All right, he's gonna recover here. All right, and excellent. I'm, yeah. Aggressive forward air from the ledge. Kata, I'm hip off guard. He's going for that forward smash to try to finish it off. He's got limit. He's gonna want to burn it soon too because he can't hold on to it for very long. 
Oh, oh good, good air dodge. I'm hip. Knew he just like had situational awareness and knew that the, the limit was coming out. Uh, oh, he's trying to get him with that Jake. Oh, he oh. got him. And the crowd, oh, the crowd going ooh in the background. Spargo, man, look at him. He's so young. <laughs> yeah, look at this killer. He's going to be so good. I'm like, I would have told him. If I saw his parents, I would have told him. You might want to wait until, like, and Smash it's, Ultimate it's 2 comes great. out. But he's I, he's here now, ready to play. <laughs> Spargo. He's probably, like, 13 years old. I'm not too, quite sure. He's probably, like, 12 or 13 years old. Maybe younger. Who yeah. knows? Like, he's here. And I... This is not Smash 4. That That is Cloud on the screen. <laughs> this is not Smash 4. So it's, it's not like he's getting carried out here. Still a really good character. You can tell the man has the stuff, or I should say the boy. When you pick up the well, sticks, yeah, you're a man. It doesn't matter who you are. The stick for sure. <laughs> um, but I'm hip. You know, taking some time, veteran poise, yeah. thinking about his counter picks. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. That's got to be tough because, you know, Yoshi's Island is – he had some shenanigans working, you know, some gimmicks. Yeah, yeah it goes right back. There you go. I, and maybe he kind of thinks that, uh, you know, I'm hip was in control a lot of that match towards the end, and Spargo just got a lot of momentum towards the very end. Maybe he has some adjustments in mind that he can carry it back. Absolutely. And, yeah, I can respect the, the, the decision to go back to this stage for sure. Let's see, he's in a little precarious. There's, oh, he got the Pikmin out, that quick pluck. Yeah, you can see I'm hip is like very willing to just kind of camp out that slant on the far, on the far edge of the stage. Yeah. And, you know, with the trajectory on the Pikmin. And then once he gets advantage, then it's you know it's time to work. But when he plays the neutral, it seems like the neutral from the side. Absolutely. I mean, hanging out there is definitely beneficial for him because it, it throws off his opponent's spacing, right? If he wants to throw out these like safe backers towards him, he's gonna wanna they're they're gonna whiff more often than not if he's hiding by the ledge. But here we got uh, Spargo at 107 percent trailing by just a bit, uh, I'm hip at 75. Yeah, he was finally able to kill that white white Pikmin, but I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking I'm hip doesn't really it doesn't really matter to him because that kill percent already. Yeah, and I'm hip with two Moniques and a blue or had a blue. Almost got that air dodge read to close out the spot. He was pretty close, but now he, <laughs> the tables have turned. Spargo's got limit and oh, oh he caught the Pikmin. God. It lagged on the Pikmin. Yeah. Genius brain plays right there. He got that full galaxy that was brain. Definitely going. a oh. galaxy brain <laughs> play for sure and. Spargo at 142, 43, up throw is going to take it. I'm hit, securing the stock before taking any damage of his own. Yeah, it's got to be a little, uh, hopefully it's not too disheartening for the kid just because, you know, you make that full Galaxy Brain play off stage and then all my walks up blue, blue up throw and it's <laughs> over for the stock. But we're even here coming into the second stock of game two. Nice, a back air to uh, dash attack. Spargo with control of the stage right now. Yeah, he's trying to trying to get in, and he's all over I'm Hip right now. And it seems like I'm Hip's trying to work, you know, a lot of out of shield options. You know, he got the jabs, he's got the wheels turning. All right, hits him. I believe he hit him out of a jump. Yep, he's gonna land on stage with that side or the up B. It looks like he got the blue one, not the uh, not the purple hit of that the down smash. That could have been a punish right there too. Yeah, he's got that kill lineup, two purples and a blue. And very good recovery option, he uses that purple to clear the way. But Spargo just, you know, so explosive, biding his time every time he's in neutral. Oh, oh wow, wall jump. Uh, not quite enough. Man, if he had gotten that, this, this building is ready to explode. Yeah, I think Everyone that, watching so intently. I think he probably could have made it back if he if he hadn't gone for, gone for that down air. Which yeah. He got a little bit of damage on hit, but now he's a stock up. Up smash, still not going to take it. Spargo potentially setting up for a juggle, but he's going to drop it. And put I'm hip off stage, and he's got his purple still, so that's a little bit of recovery options. It's always difficult, you know, especially it's kind of a lonely place to be in all my without a purple off stage. Yeah. And he's got his his uh, white lineup. Oh, this is like the best lineup. It's yeah. gonna do so much damage with that white. <clears throat> yeah, purple, white, and blue all day. And you know he's farming it, you know, plucking for it. Oh. But it Definitely, this man's brain is constantly going off when he plays Olimar. But of course, credit to Spargo. He's you know he's not he's not panicking. He's he's having a hard time. It's you know sometimes you ha you pick the right options, but you're playing against a player that's that's you know been through oh, it before. No. Oh, unfortunate right there. And after a commanding statement victory game one, Spargo or uh, I'm hip res responds back. It takes game two. And of course, if you're just joining us here, this is Winter Semis Wednesday Night Fights. He got. CT Lux on the microphone here with my partner. That's Edmund, just Edmund, <laughs> just me. 
yeah. Get this man a sponsorship and get Spargo a sponsorship too. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, dude, like, the kid's already <laughs> showing that he has promise. He's, he's young. You want to talk about a blue chip fresh, prospect? Fresh mind. <laughs> we yeah. got to get this kid some college offers, dude, get him into the absolutely. NCAA. He's going to declare it for the draft. Early. <laughs> he's ready to go pro already. <laughs> so, no, no character uh, switches here from either player. We're just going to go to PS2, the first change of scenery this set so far. And it's interesting. He went to a, a bigger stage. You know, typically yeah. you have, against Almar, you kind of want to keep the pressure on and Absolutely. not let him plug. Yeah. But he went to about as big a stage as you can go on this stage This list. is, I think, the widest stage on the stage list for sure. So. Yeah, we'll see how that, you know, it could be. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, you know, it could be just a reactionary, you know, reactionary counter pick in comparison to what I'm hit pick yeah. or something like that. Or maybe Spargo sees something that we don't. Let's see. Right now, a lot of it, you know, everything's going in I hip's favor. Yeah, I'm hip is really starting to get a read on just how uh, Spargo is pressuring with these aerials and just kind of sitting beneath them and getting these parries. Uh, he's really, really proficient at getting the parry punishes. He's definitely a player who has been working on it more than others, I would say. Or if he hasn't been working on it, he's just good. Yeah. Like, he's doing a good job. Though. Oh, there's the purple. Kind of got caught sleeping right there. I was going to say, he did a good job of cornering I'm hit, but that purple cleared the way. Ooh, did so much shield damage, but he was <laughs> able to just grab him right out of the shield. I, mean, I thought shield grabs was nerfed, but hey, he got a, hey, a lot of range <laughs> with the Pikmin. Yeah, if your blue Pikmin's there, it's going to reach for, oh my god, so much damage. Okay, I was like, Jesus, I'm hit. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I'm hit new, he's gonna grab with the blue at that situation. He had to, uh, he, yeah. he just always knows. The yeah, all our players, they just know something about the universe that we don't. They're like, they know exactly what, what's coming out at any given time. Oh, two blues latched on, and he's gonna throw out the preemptive cross slash. Hit. All right. Yeah. And he's not getting as much mileage off stage in those corner situations, you know. Putting away the stocks. Gets a good neutral play, though, to close it out. Yeah. And, you know, he's down 100, 102%. Let's see if he's able to make it. Oh, this could be a little bit of trouble. Oh, my Man. God. He just sets himself right above him and sends him right back down to the blast zone. Yeah, went from a little bit of trouble to big trouble. Oh, oh. speaking of big trouble, he's back. Oh, my God. He had, to, uh, he had to drag him all the way back up with the up B. If he had an up B immediately, he right. would have just died. So. Yeah, carrying it back. Yeah, sometimes it's unfortunate you make like the plays, yeah. and then just you have to get back. You're like, oh man, I'm gonna have to hit him. Oh, oh! he air dodged the wrong way. Yeah, a little misplay <laughs> on Ihir's part. I'm sure he'll want that stock back. Yeah, you know that's two big plays though from Spargo, and I'm hip a little bit. Was on the ropes, but put in 50 damage and answer. Now looking at an 85% lead. And they're playing neutral now. Spargo kind of hopping around, trying to just find a way to break through this zone. Might have his opening right, right here. Yeah, he finds the dash attack, but he burns his limit. Still putting up the pressure, has I'm hip off yeah. stage, and he finds oh, a downer almost got the, the sour spot. spot. Yeah. If he got the sweet spot, we were looking at a whole entire oh. different set. Oh, but he's got him cornered again. This could be this could be big. Uh, he's, he's, he's known to make these plays off stage, and he's doing it now. He's going to hit another forward air, potentially, maybe a down air. Um, I'm hit putting on all the evasive maneuvers he can. And just look at this ledge trapping game, yeah. grabbing the standard get up. Aerial's out to block the ledge shot. Oh, oh my god. Hell. Spargo with the kill. Who is this kid? Seriously, where did he come from? <laughs> dude, dude, his dad is watching his kid play right now. Yeah, maybe maybe pop up around dude, right now. I know it, it, the whole crowd's popping off. He's like, dude, what is this? <laughs> he's like, all these all these all these grown men are getting excited for my son. And he's like, this is just another school night for me, no big deal. <laughs> dude, imagine he was in grand finals and he's just like we actually got to go. You have class in the morning. Like, <laughs> no, but dad. Yeah. Uh, class or not, he's taking nine hip to school dude, right now. Uh, he's dude, up two one. This this kid is like reminding me of, of the Charlies, the Eons, <laughs> the Dynamos. We got a we got a new youngin in SoCal, man. Ultimate. They're out Let's there. Go. They're all out there training, I see playing. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> they're on that. They're getting those GSP points, and they're just you know. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sure they feel good about like their GSP. They're like, dang, I'm the best. Let's let's take it up a notch. Yeah, let's see and, if and, I'm. <laughs> and they're they're young, so they're not like you know they're they're willing to learn. Right. Yeah. So they're not they're not they're not as like hung up on the win loss rate actually. Yeah. Could you imagine coming into this game with a blank slate instead of uh, all the habits and the player you became in Smash Four oh, yeah. and all uh, you know melee or brawl or whatever game that you played uh, you know prior to this? It's a it's a blessing you know. So it's a curse sometimes. You got to learn a lot. But sure. if your if your mind is open. You could be the next Spargo. Absolutely. 
And Spargo, man, doing a really good job now of, of doing these le doing this ledge trapping. Uh, he was really like not going for it as much. I guess the first two games right. were played on a stage where it was not a, not as possible. Yeah, probably not as used to the, that yeah. slant situation. And it's interesting you say that. You know, like it doesn't really matter the size of the stage if you're just keeping them ledge trapped for yeah. days. Oh, they have no. Oh, he does have a jump. Oh. Right, but he's not gonna back. Yeah, yeah, that's cloud. No Sometimes limit. Cloud can't pull it back, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm hip in pretty good control of this match, but we've seen that a couple times before, and Spargo has just always had the answer and battled right back into it. Yeah, and I mean, he is a plethora of ways to deal with these uh, Pikmin. I mean, one way that I'm hip really racks on the damage is with the Pikmin, and because of this giant disjointed sword, it's a lot easier to kind of mitigate and not take as much damage in the matchup. If, in, if anything, I would say, Based off Smash 4, like this is probably a losing matchup for, right. for all of them. Yeah, totally different story now. Yeah, Spargo already taking 109% on his second stock, and I'm him sitting pretty at 89. Hanging in below these platforms, he gets a parry. Oh my god, a down smash, whiffing on the spot dodge. Yeah, oh, that's, oh shield, that shield is so dude. small. And he gets the purple. <laughs> Or the blue. <laughs> uh, he had to have that set up too. He's like, I'm a whole shield. This is such it, good bait. Was that, is uh, Limit Cross Slash weaker in this game? Yeah, yeah. yeah I was going to say, because that definitely would have popped your shield. Yeah. Like, it's Smash 4. <laughs> I'm him's probably like just kind of, Woo. you know, that's one of those clenchers right hey. there. He's probably thinking, my God, my shield. Oh, my God. That up smash with so much range. That's a couple times that he's caught his feet. Just, yeah. you know, I'm him trying to pull it right over him, and then up smash just clips him. That was a good bait right there. Oh my god, and Limit couldn't save you there, buddy. Right. Yeah, that, that all happened because uh, he actually latched the white Pikmin onto yeah. him, and in an effort to get the Pikmin off, Spargo up smashed, which put him in a ton of lag. Right. I'm hit, was able to just run in his face, forward air, and then set up the potential edge guard, which he nailed with the down air. And Spargo's thinking, look at the, you know, here's the narrative Five, on it. Man. The, you know, it's when you're Ooh. young and you're up and coming. And you're about to take the best player to game five. You it's think, good. You but think that's this the kid knows? <laughs> you think he knows, dude? <laughs> this is the first. <laughs> but this is the first time, you know, he's really faced some um, oh really tough gosh. adversity. You know, really been pushed dude, to the and, limit. And he's holding game. up. Yeah. He's game five. Let's like, see if he's able to, you know, keep his fortitude. That was kind of a rough loss. But I'm sure he'll bounce back and we're in for uh, game five. Everyone get on Twitter. Let's, uh, you know, shout out the young kids coming to play. Yeah, yeah. And man. I'm hips, uh, young, you know, young, on the brink. Young newcomer on the verge of defeating the potential number one in SoCal right now. This final game between the two, playing on Smashville. And already I'm hit, just continue where he left off. Maybe he kind of gotten a read on his movement. Oh man, the big forward air coming out just right over him. And that's kind of been the go-to option every once in a while. Oh, that God, shield. a bubble. <laughs> But it seems like, you know, every once in a while, Spargo's kind of got a read on I'm Hip's, you know, habits in that camping. And he does land those forward airs in neutral. Oh, that was awesome. Not enough to kill with the forward smash, but he does chase him off the stage with the back air. Oh, wow. I can respect it. And but you don't have the player cams right there, but Spargo with a yeah. little bit of a, you know, a little frustrated, he, frustration he, shake he, right he, there. Yeah. I mean, he, he bet it all on his edge guard, and it, it was not the right call. I'm hip was yeah. just in the prime position to fall down with that down air. Oh, and he gets him back. Oh He's my like, God, dude. <laughs> all right, this kid is the best, dude. <laughs> He's actually the best. Yeah, a little bit of fortune favoring the from? daring right there. Both of them getting those dare kills, and we're even coming into stock two. Oh, man, doesn't get the tech, and I'm hip. All right, this kid knows too much, like air dodging to the ledge. Yes, conserving his limit. He's looking like a, just a well-poised veteran. Yeah, no, I know. Can't, I can't even believe like I've never seen this kid before. I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm tripping out and like this kid is actually just oh, not even. Oh, he might have him. Oh, wow. He had him. <laughs> I'm hip, very smart, just kind of floating there, trying to bait out a dare. And yeah, every time he gets I'm hip off stage, now, oh, picked him up. There it is again. And he's one stock away. Spargo at 124%. I'm hip, though. He's going to play this as patiently as he can. Right. He's on the verge of dipping down to loser's bracket, too. And an unknown newcomer. I'm hip. On the ropes. Oh, but sometimes, you know, if you're going to beat the champ, you got to knock him out. Come into championship stock, right? Well, not championship stock, but winner semi stock. Both of them. Neither of them wants to go to that loser's bracket. Oh, here's and here's the story. I'm, I'm hip getting in so much damage early. Let's see if he's able to close it out. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a race. 
as I'm hip, gonna be able to put on those damage. Or is he gonna get I'm hip off stage? It's uh, Spargo. Oh, had him where he wanted it, but he went no! a little deep. Oh You're no! Be so sad, Spargo. I was rooting for Ooh. you, man. I'm hip is my buddy, but like, I always like to see the new person win. Oh, that's, Dang, that's dude. rough. I'm, I'm hip. I'm hip to walk away like, oh my god, I, that was the closest set of my life. <laughs> That's got to be a change of pace for I'm hip to be the uh, not be the hypest player oh my in, God. The, in the match. <laughs> usually, you know, he's kind of like the people's favorite uh, locally. Oh, yeah, Everyone's dude. usually in his corner pulling for him. But that's how can you not root for Sparkle? This kid's so good. What is he going to do in like four more years, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Holy that's I'm, that's I'm hip speaking, by the way. He's like, oh, bruh. <laughs> that kid is nasty.